Hello friends, welcome to my channel Brush Up IQ. Today I am going to discuss some most important multiple choice questions with answers about Constitution of India. These questions have been repeatedly asking most of the competitive exams, not only, but as a people, as a citizen of India, we have to know, we should know the basic foundation of our constitution, the basic structure of our political system also. In this video, I have given a brief description in every question in easy language so that everyone can understand it easily comfortably. So without delay, let's start. My first question is, the constitution of India was framed by the constituent assembly of India set up under the here option A, cabinet mission is the right answer? Yes, friends. Cabinet mission came to India in February 1946 in order to discuss the transfer of power from British government to Indian political leadership with a view to preserving the unity and independence of India. Cabinet mission was composed of three cabinet ministers of United Kingdom, Deja Sir Patrick Lawrence, Sir Stafford Cripps and A.P. Alexander. Then my next question is, who presided over the inaugural meeting of the Constituent Assembly of India on 9 December 1946? Here option D, Dr. Sosidananda Sinha is the correct answer. Uh, Dr. Sinha, Dr. Sushirananda Sinha was the president of inaugural meeting, but the permanent president of Constituent Assembly was Dr. Rajendra Prasad. Dr. Rajendra Prasad was the permanent president of our Constituent Assembly. Uh, he was elected on 11 December 1946. My next question is, who among the following was the chairman of the drafting committee of Indian constitution? Here option D, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar is the correct answer. The drafting committee was formed by the constituent assembly. The other members of drafting committee was K. M. Munshi, T. T. Krishna Mosari, Gopal Swami Ayengar, Alaji Krishna Sami Ayar, Syed Muhammad Sadullah and Madhav Rao and T.P. Khaitan. The next question is, the constitution of India was adopted by, option is the Governor General, option B, British Parliament, option C, Constituent Assembly, option D, Parliament of India. Here, option C, Constituent Assembly, was adopted our constitution. Uh, in which year, friends? 26 November 1946. My next question is, who proposed the preamble before the drafting committee? Here option C, Zabaharlal Nehru is the correct answer. Uh, here, uh, we have to know what is preamble. Preamble is an introductory statement. The preamble to the Constitution of India presents the principles of constitutions and indicates the source of its authority. Then next question is, who conducts the election who conducts the election to the office of the President of India? Here option C, Election Commission of India. Election Commission of India conducts the President's election. Another question can be asked about disputes regarding election of the President. The question is, who decides the disputes regarding election of President? Here answer will be the Supreme Court of India. My next question is, 
in case of deadlock between the two houses of parliament the joint sitting of parliament is presided over here option c speaker of lok sabha is the correct answer then my next question is the speaker of lok sabha has to address his letter of resignation to here option is the president the vice president the prime minister deputy speaker of lok sabha here option d deputy speaker of lok sabha is the correct answer yes friends the speaker of lok sabha has to address his resignation letter to the deputy speaker of the lok sabha if he desire to resign from his post then my next question is who can decide whether a particular bill is a money bill or not here option is a the president b speaker of lok sabha c chairman of rajya sabha option d finance minister here speaker of lok sabha option b is the correct answer the speaker of lok sabha certifies if a financial bill is money bill or not my next question is which article which article of the constitution envisages free and compulsory education for children up to the age of 40 14 years here option a article 45 is the correct answer it is incorporated under the 86th constitutional amendment act of 2002 the next question is by which amendment the right to property drop from the list of fundamental rights here option a option is 52nd amendment 44th amendment 42nd amendment and 32nd amendment here option b the 44th amendment of 1978 is the correct answer the 44th amendment of 97 1978 removed the right to property from the list of fundamental rights and added a new provision article 300a it is instead of uh, right to property which provides no person shall be deprived of his property save by his authority of law then my next question is under which article of indian constitution the prime minister is appointed here option b article 75 is the correct answer my next question is under the constitution residuary powers residuary powers are vested in option a the union is the correct answer yes article 2482 of the constitution of india says that the parliament has exclusive power to make any law with respect to any matter not enumerated in list 2 which is state list and list 3 which is concurrent list that is the residuary powers then my next question is which one of the following functionaries can be removed at any time without assigning any reason here option is speaker of lok sabha option b chairman of rajya sabha option c governor of state option d chairman of upsc here option c governor of state is the correct answer option c is the correct answer governor of state is not elect person he is appointed by the president of india so president can remove him easily my next question is the constitution of india is here option is federal in form unitary in form federal in spirit 
but unitary in form option d feathered in form but unitary in spirit here option d feathered in form but unitary in spirit is the correct answer now we have to know what is federal and what is unitary system a federal country or system of government is one in which the different states or provinces of the country have important powers to make their own decisions there are two types of government exists in this system one is central government and other is state government uh, for example usa is a pure uh, federal state on the other hand unitary state is a system in which most or all the governing power resides in a centralized government uk is a unitary state for example my next question is the term socialist and secular the term socialist and secular was added to the constitution by here option a 42nd amendment is the correct answer 42nd amendment act of 1976 changed the description of india from sovereign democratic republic to sovereign socialist secular democratic republic okay the next question another right to freedom of religion the indian citizen option a are free to have faith in a religion other than the state religion option b have a freedom to profess practice or propagate a religion of their choice here option b have a freedom to profess practice and propagate a religion of their choice is the correct answer my next question is the fundamental duties are contained in here option b part 4a of the constitution is the right answer it is added through 42nd amendment of the constitution my next question is the president is an integral part of here option c parliament the president is an integral part of parliament but the president is not a member of parliament okay the next question is the supreme court tenders advice to the president which is binding on him a option b not binding on him option c binding in case of interpretation of laws option d binding in some special cases here option b not binding on him is the correct answer the next question is sottomebo joyote has been taken from here option a mundaka upanishad is the correct answer my next question is the supreme court issues a constitutional writs for the enforcement of fundamental rights under option c article 32 is the correct answer my next question is a member of upsc may address his resignation to option a the president option b the chairman of upsc option c the vice president option d the prime minister here option a the president of, of india is the correct answer the chairman and other members of upsc are appointed by the president so they can approve him to resign my next question is who is this wrong option a the governor can give his assent to a bill option b the governor can send back a bill for reconsideration to the state assembly option c governor can reject a bill option d governor reserve a bill for the assent of the president here option c governor can reject a bill this statement is wrong because government cannot reject a bill my final question is the greatest champion 
of all india services was sardar pallabhai patel so that's all for today please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like share and comment on this video thank you for watching this video meet you on next video till then bye bye